So, what now? At 17 years old, you're in your final year of high school, college deadlines are coming up, and you're expected to figure out what you want to do with your life. I wanted some guidance on how to navigate my future, so I went out and asked people for their advice. I went to Malvern Collegiate Institute in the east end of Toronto. I went to BM, then I left there, went to St. James, then Centennial to finish. Abroya. And Kitchener at East of Collegiate. What did you think you wanted to be when you were 17? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I didn't really have a good sense of what I wanted to do. Maybe you wanted to be an author, a writer, uh, at that point in my life, I think. I loved reading, loved books, still do, but uh, didn't turn that corner to become a writer or, or pursue that. I became a teacher. I used to want to be an action movie star and an artist. I always took drama and the arts. I always had to. I used to do videos all the time of action bits and comedy, random chaos, stuff that's exciting. I wanted to, um, I don't know, I just wanted to do something with fashion, like design or creative stuff. I went to college and then I went to university, basically to get my degree before my husband did. Because <laughs> he thought he was smarter. I don't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I just wanted to work in an office. What is something you wish you had known when you were 17? If I could talk to myself, I would say the world is wide open. You could do virtually anything. It's still wide open at 17 and keep your uh, I think your ears and eyes open to the possibilities. Just, just go for it, explore it. Because someone has to do those really neat and interesting things. Someone's gonna do it, why not you? Why not you? Well, I guess when you're a teenager, I know it's, it's weird because you get these emotions, but then you gotta go home to like an angry family sometimes. And that can like take them all away. So I guess my advice would have been like, participate more outside. Stay away from your house. Stay away from your phones. I spend a lot of time in nature. That's what I should, I did that, but I should have did more of that. Get away from the, the negativity of home sometimes. You just go where you go, right? You don't think too hard about it. I think having a mentor is really important. And um, I know through the years, um, I developed that with uh, one or two people. And I look back and I, I thought, I didn't realize how important it was in my life. It gives you a lot of direction and a lot of support. I think I wish I had more of that when I was young. I wish that I would have had more of an opportunity to actually look into different options of what you could do uh, when it comes to work. Because I feel like when you're in high school, you just kind of have a like, small idea of maybe what your family does or something, and it's like that's kind of what you think of. But there's actually so many different jobs and different opportunities and different like educational paths you could take. So I wish I knew that, and I wish I would have like thought about it a little more and kind of like soul search a little more to see what like is more I'm more passionate about. Travel, explore, don't get into a relationship too young. Kind of just enjoy being like young and doing whatever. That's all. My name is Olivia. Hi, Hi Olivia. Nice Rusty. 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 Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name's Eric. It's Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> I'm Gressa. I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do with my life, but through each conversation I gained a new perspective. I've learned that you don't have to have it all figured out at 17. This is a time to explore and enjoy being young. Time to see what the future brings.